a professional driver. Mm -hmm. At the time of this accident, I was a school bus driver, and plus I have safety training through the Smith system. Where had you taken a wrong turn? At about 38th, I took a right turn when I needed to take a left turn. Were both of your cars insured on the day of the accident? Yes. No. With whom? All state for me. State Farm. Can I see pictures of the damage to the car, please? Yes. And the top what kind one. of a car were you driving, Mr. Rollins? Uh, a Buick Park Avenue, 1997. And what happened to that car? Several weeks later, the engine blew due to a hose that was torn to the radiator that I hadn't seen. The uh, steering wheel was different too, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was out of alignment. Were the police called? They were. He called them and they said they would not come out unless there was an injury. Okay. Mr. Malikas, when Mr. Owens got out of the car, would you go over there and show me where it was that the two cars stopped and you exchanged information? We pulled into this parking lot right up here and exchanged... Just a second. How did he get into the parking lot over there? It was late at night and there weren't many cars so around. So we made a circle? So, mm -hmm. One way or another, yeah. Just a second. Yes. So the question is, based upon what you told me, if it collided then and if it was late at night and nobody was there, then you would have pulled into the lower... Down, down to there. That's where you would have gone. Okay. Our cars ended up in the middle of the road, so we were just trying to get them off of the... But it would have been clear to me... Yes. ...that the easiest path, if I believe your story, was to pull into... The lower parking lot. That's the way his car would have gone, and that's the way your car would have gone. Okay, well, regardless, we ended up out there. Okay. Let me step back now. All right, thank you. Uh, your Honor, I have pictures of the damage to the cars, and it shows that where the impact happened on his car... I'd like to and take a look at it. ...are opposite to what the diagram is. Your car's the white car. Yes, it was the white car. Your Honor, can I mention something? Mm -hmm. Would you show this to him, please, to the plaintiff? I, uh... Were you I... on the phone? No. Yes, he was. This accident happened on... The 19th. August 19th? Yes. Do you have your phone with you? I do. Is it the same phone that you had that day? Yes. Would you take a look at your phone log? Yeah. Take a look at your phone log for August 19th. Oh, calls. I think I meant tax. I don't have anything from the 19th. Yes. May I state that he wasn't necessarily sending a text message, but his hand was clearly in his, uh, his phone was clearly in his hand. There was light on his face and he wasn't looking at the road. He was looking at his phone. Before and after the accident and even as he went to park. Where I know because go? he had mentioned... Mr. Malikus. Yes. Where were you going that night? I was heading to a girlfriend's at the time. What's your girlfriend's name? She's not my girlfriend anymore. Where does she live? Huh? Where did she live? She lived off of Pillsbury Avenue, which was a few blocks away. Is that what you were looking at on your phone? I was not. I did have my GPS logged in. Give me back those photographs, please. Your insurance companies both did an investigation? Yes. Is that yes. correct? And Mr. Rowan's insurance company declined to pay your deductible? Yes. They were right. But I don't believe that. They were right. Based upon the damage to the car, I believe that you were probably trying to find your then-girlfriend's house. Maybe that's what you were looking on your GPS, but you weren't paying attention. You hit him. That's not true. It